Welcome back to Ceramics One. Now that you've finished your construction of your coil pot and it's looking something like this. Obviously this one is way taller than I'm asking you to do in class. So, you know, yours should probably be about this tall, much shorter. But I just wanted to give you a rundown of how you did the coils for just regular wrapping, how you could use the coils in a different way, like stacking them vertically, and how you could use the coils decoratively. Okay? But end all be all, as soon as you're done and you've got the top defined, the base is defined, and you've got all the middle sections built, we can start what's called the finishing process, okay? So I'd like you to start two parts of your process that you're going to do. You're going to level the rim, and you're going to trim away extra weight at the base. And then I'm going to show you a couple different other techniques to smooth the clay, finish the clay, or bring out the coils if that's what you want. So just like our slab box, I want you to be using a rasp. Uh, to make sure that the top is level. If I put this uh, here now, you can actually see like this rim, there's that whole space underneath the, the level. So take your uh, coil pot and you can just kind of slowly level it. If you sit in one of the chairs as you do this and kind of slowly move the banding wheel as you go, you can kind of get it mostly level by eyeballing it. So right now my eyes, even though the video doesn't look this way, my eyes are level with the top of this um, uh, rim. And I'm just kind of slowly leveling it as I go. This point right here is still much uh, shorter than the rest of it, but I'm going to just keep kind of evenly skimming the rim down all the way and I'm like pushing the tool horizontally across the front ridge of the clay as I do this. Whereas on the box, since it was flat, you kind of do one flat side at a time. Since your coil pot or your coil vase, most of yours are going to be rounded or some other kind of or more organic shape. Um, it's kind of difficult to do just one side at a time and get it to all work out. All right, now if I look on here, it's still just a little bit off. This side here is taller. So I'm just going to trim this side down a bit. All right, now I'm going to use my knife to burnish the top. I'm going to use my knife to take away the burr on the inside of the coils and I'll use my knife to take away the burr on the outside. Just like we did with the top of our slab box, I want them to be nice and smooth and make it look as though each part of your coil vase has been dealt with. You know, there's no little leftover chunks or nubbins. Um, and that you've got it nice and smooth. Now, my clay is still fairly uh, damp. If you need to moisten your clay with a sponge to get it smooth, do that. If your clay is still wet enough that you can just smooth with your finger like I am, that's fine too. But you do want to make sure that your rim is smooth and there's no leftover nubbins or chunks or, ch or crusty pieces, okay? Now, same thing, once you've got your rim finished and it's smooth, it's even, then you can start working on the base. Now in my experience not all students have this problem but quite a few students have a very thick base. So if I take mine, I'm going to flip mine over because I know that it's stiff enough to hold the weight. You can see that the base where I started here is a little bit uneven. If I just spin that around, you can see it. Um, because as I was making it, I was kind of patting it and getting it to be more or less even, and this part came down. So one thing you can do if it's really, really off, like some kids have just a huge chunk of extra clay on the bottom here, you can actually take your knife, and as you hold it kind of even to the, the contour of the side of your pot, you can just kind of trim around the contour of your pot and get it to be nice and even all the way around. Okay? 
That's one method you could do, and just take your knife and trim it down. Um, obviously, make make careful, or make sure that you're being careful and that you're not totally, you know, cutting a hole in the bottom of your pot. Um, also, if your coil vase is a little bit on the uh, thick side and it's dried out, it might also be kind of rough to get it smooth. Um, so you can cut it, or if you need to, you can actually go back with one of the rasps. And if you rasp from the side over around to the bottom like that, you can get a nice smooth edge too. Okay, so whatever you choose, or whatever method you choose to get the bottom uh, even and level, make sure that you've got a pretty defined base. Um, and it can follow your original base, or it can be different from your original base if you're um, improvising with what you've got. Okay, so I've got my base finished. Notice that I don't have my name written on it yet, so if you haven't written your name, write your name on the base once you're done smoothing out your base. So this video was all about smoothing out your base, cutting your base away to make it even and nice and tidy, and also cutting away and making even and nice the rim. Okay, we'll come back in the next video and we'll talk about dealing with these coils. Thanks for joining me for trimming the rim and the base of your coil base.